In the first week since its formation, Haiti's transitional presidential council is taking steps to stop violence across the country. It comes after at least 50,000 people have fled the capital of Port-au-Prince. Fox News correspondent Alex Hogan has the latest. After months of gang violence in Haiti's capital, Port-au-Prince, the newly installed transitional council is trying to establish peace across the country. Over the weekend, the group announced plans to vote for Haiti's next president on Tuesday. It comes as a large number of people continue to flee the violence. According to the U.N., about 90,000 people have left the capital since the start of the year. The new leaders are now facing pressure to quickly secure food, jobs and security for those who stayed behind. It is insecurity that brought us to where we are today. A country without security is a country where we cannot do anything. The nine-member council was installed at a ceremony last Thursday, where Haiti's prime minister officially resigned. But as the group begins to work, Haiti's national police remain overwhelmed by violent gangs who shuttered the airport, government buildings and roads in Port-au-Prince last month. The council's formation is seen as a step toward a bigger goal of deploying a multinational security mission to the country, which the former prime minister requested two years ago. Until that happens, the Biden administration says that it's sending aid to Haiti's police. We were able to deliver uh, the first shipment of U.S. government non-lethal equipment to the Haitian National Police to bolster their capabilities. The Transitional Council's mandate ends in February of 2026 when a new president is expected to be sworn in. In London, Alex Hogan, Fox News.